Hey everyone, Xanagir here. I was speaking to someone who got to CO for the first time yesterday, when he pointed out that one of the top links was still my Sun Challenge joke guide, so I thought I'd make a real one now. Also, a quick shout out to Jeremy, who edited his own guide together as well after we talked about it and kind of came up with it at the same time. I'll start with the most consistent method, where you want to enter the room, jump up the ladder as quickly as you can, and immediately head up to the closest corner of the room. Get on the block below the enemy spawners and place two consecutive bombs before jumping over to the frog trap, making sure to stand on the edge to avoid taking damage from the other frog trap you'll be next to. You'll want to remove your jetpack and place it outside the challenge before doing this strat, since flaming bodies are not very nice to jetpacks. Oh, and don't grab the arrow in between the lasers, unless they're off. The next strat requires paste and is identical to the previous strategy, except it allows you to only use one bomb. Instead of placing two bombs on the ground, just jump up to the same corner and place a bomb right on the spawner before getting on the frog trap and waiting out the timer. This one, which we call the Dry Sun Challenge in the community, since it uses no resources, is probably the most risky of the newer strats, but allows you to collect some extra blood, save bombs, and keep your jetpack on. You just want to stand on the left block below the spawner and repeatedly back whip while keeping an eye on any vamps or curse skulls that may come close to you. This one does force you to keep on your toes a bit more, but it is great for any low percent or resourceless runs you'll be doing in the future. The next method you're seeing on the screen right now is the one you may have already been doing, and the one I urge you to stop doing since it has resulted in more deaths for me than I can count. The newer corner strats are much, much safer, even if they may not seem like it at first. The final strategy is only one for real hardcore spelunkers, since it requires you to buy an Xbox Wireless Elite 2 controller with extra triggers and adjustable analog sticks. You just need to stand under the spawner here and press your back paddles four times to engage gamer mode and annihilate every enemy in your path. This method has taken me years to perfect, and I think you'll find it to be a true hardcore challenge. I hope all these methods end up helping you out in getting to Cosmic Ocean. Make sure to like the video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel since I put out videos nearly every day, and I'll see you in the next one.